Okay, this is Galactify traveling uh, conversion part two with uh, installing the solar panels. Here are the two Sun uh, World 295, no, 280, I think, um, panels right there. And uh, like that, so they look like on the front. And uh, they're upside down right now because we're building up brackets. Uh, we were thinking about wind resistance and air. We don't want these things to have horrible um, wind resistance on the side, so they're upside down. We're putting on this uh, this angle iron like this. There's a loose piece, but anyway, this is a one inch angle iron. And we screwed it into these holes, and then we drilled two more in the frame right there. You can see right here, right there, right there, and right there. Like that, four holes. And then what we're going to do, and again, this is all upside down, so you can imagine this. And then this big piece, which is a two uh, angle iron, this is all aluminum. And this is a, a eighth inch, I think, right there, thickness. Then we're going to bolt this on, uh, like that, right there, if you can see that. Um, we're going to bolt these to, we're going to bolt these to right there. And then put it, just three bolts on either side in this big piece, which is then going to be flush mounted against the roof of the sprinter up there and uh, with these giant um, washers like, like this. These are the bolts for configuration we're going to use like that. And we're going to make a gasket on the top and the bottom out of this Viton material right here that we got. And then we're going to coat the whole thing on the top with uh, Dicor lap sealant, which is great stuff and uh, sealant as well as adhesive properties. And we use the Viton uh, rubber and gasket batik because the material, um, the curing agent in here will eat away anything else. It's extremely caustic stuff. And uh, we're keeping these, those things on, those bolts on with like this configuration right here, basically putting this uh, lock washer up underneath. Um, right here first and then this to press it down into the aluminum and then bolt it all together so it looks like that and um, it's a lock washer right there and that way we'll have about two inches of a of a gap right here for ventilation because these things heat up like crazy this monocrystalline power and uh, and then there'll be a gap in between the two of them like that, so all the hot air can ventilate, but yet there'll be no crosswind. We're eliminating the crosswind um, right here by putting this and mounting it, and then we won't have uh, be blown all over the road and possibly have these panels uh, ripped clear off and become uh, dangerous weapons as we drive down the road. Okay, cool, and we'll update when we get this all together and put it on the roof like that. Oh, and how we're putting it on because then you're like, well, how do you unscrew it or screw it in once it's up there? So this is what we thought of. These wonderful little inventions right here. We put these, if you're not getting dizzy here, we put these on the inside. We drill a hole and we put these on the inside like that, like there, like that, and then drill through. Can you hold this, Chandra? Yeah, just lift it up right there. Perfect, like that, so it doesn't fall. Yeah, perfect. And uh, so then we drill through right here, directly into that with one of these bolts, with one of these through the back. And then that will hit through there. And then this little guy right here will hit against that aluminum and he won't spin around. And then the same thing when we unturn it, when we loosen it, it will hit right there, and then we can, if we ever need to replace the solar panels, we can do that um, by using one of these little doohickeys. I forget what they're called. Oh, actually, you can put it down there, thanks. They're called, they're called this. Um, you nut, or whatever, like that. And uh, that's how we figured it out. So we don't have wind resistance underneath. We have ventilation, all aluminum, grounding directly to the vehicle as well with that system and we don't become a 75 mile per hour down the road sail destroying our um, mileage per hour as well as um, possibly um, destroying our panels and possibly uh, killing someone when these things uh, possibly fall off the fly off the roof. 
Uh, yay. Okay, so we're about ready to put on the panels. This is the racking system that we developed. And you can see here, we have the, the panels right here. And then I screwed that in, and that's a PL Premium Construction Adhesive to just hold that in as a basically make sure that that doesn't come off. It doesn't have anything besides to make sure that doesn't come unscrewed. The same thing I did with these on the other side because we're going to take that bolt out. Um, you can see right there the idea. We're going to take that bolt out, and then uh, this piece right here will stick on, stick on there on the inside because once we put it up, on the roof, um, this is whole contraption is going to be upside down. Well, it's upside down right now. It's going to be right side up, and uh, there ain't going to be no way to hold that thing in place as we screw that bolt through. And uh, it's like that, and it perfectly lines up like that, so it gives support to the this piece right here gives support to the panel, and on the other side it gives support to the panel right there, and this is bolted in out the way all the way down there back up a little bit so you can get a better view maybe and uh, looks really nice and clean and it'll look great up there and it'll be completely wind resistant and uh, like that you see on the other side it's really nice just uh, two pieces of angle iron a half inch piece or angle iron angle aluminum and a half inch or a one inch piece and a two inch piece and then there is a breather hole right there. I was going to make it a little bit bigger, but that's about, uh, I don't know, an inch or something uh, for heat release purposes, but yet still remaining aerodynamic and like that. And so now we can individually take off, replace this panel or that panel once it's mounted, and these will be permanently glued and bolted down to the roof um, as the racking system right there that's aerodynamic. And then we're going to put a little fin on the front right here um, to keep the wind from going up underneath there as we drive. This little wind fin that will deflect, you know, something like that, that will deflect the wind from going underneath the panel and uh, go over the panel for aerodynamics and safety of the panel. Okay. Okay, so now we have the solar panels on top of the roof. They're about ready to be put on. They're propped up on one side. You can kind of see the situation right here like that they have that they're bolted down right there and then that's pretty much well, I can't reach but that's pretty much flush and uh, kind of see like that that angle and uh, we'll take a look up underneath now around to the other side and this is the this is the beam that's going to go, it's already drilled, so it's actually going to go like that. Um, I'm going to go to this driver's side right here, I have those holes pre-drilled lined up, that's what we did just a minute ago. Now, I have it propped up on one side here, so that piece is going to go right along here, like that. And you can see this, this seam right here is just about perfect for that that lip to sit up underneath there so it rests on the lip and then locks together right there and you can see under here the other side you focus on that that's the inside of the panel like that and uh, it's resting on a ridge you can kind of see back back there it's resting on a ridge that's why it's cockeyed and then I used I put one of these I forget what those connectors are called but then I used uh, this special type of tape here where is the this stuff right here you can see that Temflex 3M stuff it's great you peel off the seam and it just and you stretch it on there and it just bonds right to that stuff, it's like just becomes a solid piece. And then I wrapped it up with the uh, electrical tape as well, just to um, uh, make sure because any salt gets in there, or grit or whatever. And this one, I, um, I I cut that end off 
right there, and this one I uh, soldered together extension because I go negative to positive right here, and then I have my uh, what is this? This is the negative lead. Yeah, this is the negative lead right here, going out, which will drill a hole right there. That's the fantastic roof vent, and then my positive lead right there coming out. So that long one is part of the negative lead, like that. And then I have a fantastic vent. It's going to go right back there, and uh, like that. And this is the vent for the heat. And that's why I didn't put them together to release because these things monocrystalline heats up a lot. And uh, but yet it's small enough so it's not a. I don't feel it's going to be um, a what do you call it? A uh, problem for aerodynamics. Okay.